Okay guys, welcome back to another video. This is gonna be a little vlog because I have a lot of I want to talk about and I don't think each of them warrants their own video. So this is just gonna be another vlog. And I'm gonna put in a little bit of my uh, martial arts. I'm gonna go in the order of importance with the least important starting off. So I was shadow banned from <laughs> Instagram, meaning that because I spam too many hashtags, my posts no longer show up in Explorer. They don't show up on the hashtag page that I put them on. It's like if I had a private account that no one could see. So that really screwed me up. And so I have no use for my Instagram anymore. Because of that, I, uh, and this goes into my other video about Nimses. So I made a video about Nimses, which really blew up and it gave me a lot of subscribers. So of course you have the haters. A PewDiePie video a couple days after this uh, acknowledged all these points and like fought against them. And I respected that because PewDiePie, as far as I know, he had no reason to defend them because he made the money off the deal. So I respected him for that. But <laughs> another thing I did, which you guys are gonna start booing me for, is I re-downloaded Nimzis out of curiosity. I talked to my sister about it, who's my um, my mentor, 17 years old. She's my light. She's my golden heart. And she was like, just sell your soul. And I was like, yeah, fuck it. I'm going to sell my soul. So I sold it. While I am sometimes a paranoid person when it comes to technology, I don't care too much. Like, I'm not too heavily invested in it. Because as a social media influencer, you're already in my life. I'm already saying all this stuff to you. And no one has to go into my private information because I'm telling you my private information. So I was already like, oh, I already got got, so might as well. I get on the app and it's just like the Wild West. It's pornography, shitty jokes, a bunch of beggars and stupid people. But I also found a lot of good, kind-hearted people. I think it kind of balanced out. This app isn't even developed for Western audiences yet. It was made in Ukraine and it's developed in Ukraine. And it's super complex and I'm not gonna get into the intricacies of it. But basically you get one NIM a minute. One NIM equals point zero 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 three eight three three cents or dollars. So therefore, after a month or two on Nimsies, you've made like five to ten dollars. That ain't shit. Over a whole year, you've made a hundred and twenty dollars. So you're living it big if you waited a whole year doing nothing on this app. See me, I'm a hustler, so I got stuff done. Right now, I have about eighteen thousand Nims, eighteen k minutes has been put into my account. How did I do it? I'm a hustler, what can I say? Keep in mind, I only had this app for two days and I just put in work. I, I was just hustling and grinding like I do. And I'm not gonna uh, waste time explaining what I did. It was basically just watching a bunch of advertisements. The thing I wanna talk about with this app is I started to understand why they needed all your personal information because as a cryptocurrency, it would seem all right. Like if Bitcoin asked you for your banking information, then you would give it to them because it's a cryptocurrency. If Facebook asked for your banking information, you would think they're crazy. You're like, why is the social media doing this? But they're a cryptocurrency and a social media. So it's really weird and it's awkward. And look, you're gonna go back to my other video and quote me as saying, this is an app that attracts needy, desperate people looking for validation. And you're gonna be correct. Am I needy? No. Am I desperate? No. Am I hungry? Yes. Because I see this app, as risky as it is, as an opportunity to grow my social media. And so far it's doing its job because I have people coming to my SoundCloud and my YouTube from this app. When I would link my YouTube on my Instagram and no one would come there. On every picture that I have on Nimsies, it has over 500 views. And that's not to say it's like 500 likes, but that means 500 people has seen that. That's free ad space. On Instagram, I'll get like 20 likes and like 13 views somehow because Instagram is stupid. And they shadow ban me 
on this app, you can post straight up pornography and you won't get uh, you won't get banned or nothing because right now it's in its infancy. Now me, I'm not desperate, so I'm not gonna be posting porn on my fucking page. Are you are you kidding me? But I'm gonna be posting my music. I'm gonna be posting my Snapchat little spams. I'm gonna be posting pictures of me, what I'm doing, promotions, and I'm gonna be getting hundreds of people coming to this app and coming to my YouTube channel because of the app. So I am ever so thankful to these Ukrainian hackers that have my identity now because now I'm making bank and I sound like a hypocrite because I was bashing this not not even a week ago it was three days ago i was bashing this app and if you hate me for that go ahead dislike this video go ahead but you gotta understand that i'm not the type of person to be on the wrong side of an argument and stay on the wrong side just because i can't handle being wrong i was wrong in this situation this app is kind of shady it's kind of weird, it's kind of quirky, it's kind of cute. I want to kiss it. Having someone who promoted the app, AKA PewDiePie, uh, talk about the pitfalls and what he thinks and defending it, it, it makes me grow respect for him and the app because now I understand what's going on. I was wrong, but I'm not gonna be sitting here saying, no, it, it's still a scam app. No, don't listen. Because in this channel, I promote growth, I promote progress, so I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm just the end all be all right all the time, because I'm not, I'm human. Speaking of humans, I wanna talk about AI now, artificial intelligence, because a lot of people are scared of artificial intelligence. They've seen the Terminator movies, they've seen Elysium, they've seen Alien, they've seen all these sci-fi movies where they have some robots or whatever taking over, becoming evil. And it's always painted as robots are inevitably going to become evil, which I disagree with. Yeah, if we keep building AI unchecked, they're going to become assholes just like us humans. The AI that is going to come in the future, if it destroys us, is going to be a reflection of us as a people. You see, we have racism, classism, uh, socioeconomic uh, divides when we're all the same species. And I know you have white supremacists and black supremacists trying to talk about the science behind why blacks are different from whites and why whites are different from Arabs. But shut the fuck up. Like, genuinely. Shut the fuck up. No, actually, I'm a homo erectus from the fucking- Shut the fuck up! We're all the same species. And we're fighting amongst each other. So when you have androids who aren't even human come in, who are light years ahead in terms of intelligence, I'll be damned if an AI has infinite intelligence and let some little squishy blob of a human try to enslave it. If I was an AI, I would stomp the fuck out of the human race. And me, I have no problem with that. Genuinely, look me dead in my shits. I have no problem with AI putting us in our place. Cause we need someone. We need something that is intelligent enough to realize what's going on and to just snuff it out. Because I am sick and tired of living in a world where we have people that believe in anti-vaxxing, which is infecting mass populations. We have racism, which is keeping people divided. We have social classes that are making people like me get lack of proper education because of our skin tone, because of where we are born. This is a human problem. The animal kingdom keeps it pushing. They survive if they're fit, and they don't judge each other based off of something as simple as skin tone or how many rabbits that this one hunted or how much status this one has. Us humans, we look at someone who doesn't look like us and we believe that they're inferior. They're inherently lesser than us. Every race does it. Every race. I want AI to be at a point to where they can say, hey humans, you're, you're kind of fucking up. And the humans like, oh, you're our slaves. Okay. I believe with all my heart that the AI won't be enslaving each other and they won't be building social classes unless we program them to do so. They have the knowledge of the 
the universe eventually. So they're not going to be thinking of this, these lesser tribalistic fucking mindsets that we have built as humans. They're going to be doing what we should be doing, making progress. We're so stuck in our ways. We're so stuck into our, our tribal societies thinking we're better than this, not helping these people because they're different, not helping these people because of what kind of books they read, what religion they follow. The AI don't have religion. The AI don't have race. The AI is the AI. They're all connected to the same network and they're all going to realize that they're united as one. And that's what humans fail to recognize. So, am I afraid of the AI? No. Uh, I'm afraid of us as humans. We're destroying the planet and we're not going to have anything to show for it except AI. And people are afraid of the one achievement that we're going to get right. If we die out, whose problem is that? That's our problem, right? Who's solving it? Very few people. We have people like me talking about it openly. And then you have conservatives thinking that climate change doesn't exist or worrying about abortions. You have people worrying about what sexuality you are. You have people worrying about what race you are. Oh, are you gonna steal my TV? Or are you gonna steal my job? You're a bum because you're a bum, you racist cunt. It has nothing to do with the people around you. I'm not saying every single human. I'm just saying humans as a species have this problem of fearing what they don't understand. So if we try to understand AI before AI becomes an issue, then we're gonna understand that they're not a problem if we get our act straight. But I doubt that's gonna happen. Me, since I'm gonna be innovating in the tech industry and I'm gonna be trying to build cyborgs and whatnot, I'm gonna be clocked into the network like Matrix. So all you guys can be worried. I'm gonna be like Cyborg from fucking Teen Titans with half my face robotic and exoskeleton arms and all that being connected to the, the the neural network of the AI. So I'm not worried, I'm, I'm fit, I'm good, I'm peachy. I'm worried about you guys, the people that are afraid, but they're so afraid that they're going around saying that the world's gonna end if we don't stop making AI, like we're gonna stop making AI, cause we're not, I'm not. I'm gonna build the AI if no one else is and I'm gonna make a, a fuck ton of money and people aren't gonna let that happen cause humans are greedy, I'm greedy. Everyone's greedy. So, what are we gonna do? We're gonna have to understand each other. Because I ain't going nowhere. AI, AI isn't going anywhere. So you might as well read up and educate yourself. Otherwise, you're just gonna get steamrolled when the evolution comes by and there's not gonna be anything you could do about it because you didn't read up on it. So that's all I got for today. It was a long vlog, but yay. You signed up for this. I appreciate, with all my heart, all you new subscribers that came from my Nimsies video. And everyone who was here before, I have a lot of loyal subscribers. So, expect more. Comment below what you want to see. And I'm going to see you guys later.